What uh, what did you guys cover drill wise in that uh, full quarter carbine? What were some of the takeaway points from that? Besides, uh, uh, get guys guns up running. Yeah, the the Colt carbine that I took in uh, at Colt. Um, huh. You know, I'm sorry. I meant uh, the ILF course, the the close oh, quarter. Oh, course. close quarter, close quarter. Um, yeah. Just I'm basically to mountain pass. So hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, I'm out in the boonies too. So, um, what did I take away? Um, how to how to walk and shoot. Um, we we were, we were you know doing walks walking to the target, walking back from the target uh, is you know if you're back, backing out of an area, and we were uh, we we're doing it. They were teaching it at uh, covert warrant and HRT speed was their terms. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, creeping, walking, and you know, running to a target. Uh, and, you know, stay on the target, uh, uh, and, and getting rounds out, like learning, learning how, learning how your body works when you're moving at that speed, keeping your sight on, learning that, you know, you're going to be doing like a little figure eight with your sights, you know, just finding yeah. that, finding that spot when to shoot. Yeah, like uh, letting that dot tell you when it's okay to pull a trigger versus guys yeah. getting like a cadence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the instructors also taught us. He uh, he blew out his rotator cuff, and he was telling us like getting back on track. He uh, he uh, he did kettlebells, and he he did uh, basically he would just chill at the gym and act like he was drawing his pistol out of his uh, out of his holster with a kettlebell, uh, two pound I want to say, and just worked his way up. And like <laughs> he's got like some rock solid shoulders now, and uh, he he almost doesn't doesn't move around when he's uh when he's pointing out. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well it's good stuff, man. Thanks for sharing it. Yeah, no problem. Um let's see, the uh the CQ pistol we just went over um that that was more of an accuracy one. Uh and that was uh we did the uh the dot torture uh I believe it was three yards, and then we did. Um, I think it was you know like three by five index cards at like seven yards, and uh, we moved out from that uh, to ten fifteen, um, and that that was more just you know front sight focus, like uh, pulling the trigger, making sure your gun isn't moving when you're doing that, uh, just just getting down fundamentals, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Let's see. Uh, what other stuff? Yeah, man. Uh, fundamentals is where it's at, dude. The more and yeah. more I, I just go, you know, dry fire and, and practice those fundamentals and make sure that they're, you know, at the level of performance I want to be at. So then I can kind of, you know, start working on my speed, push myself a little more, and then go back and go right to the fundamentals again to get that performance level right where I want it again. So I think a lot of times guys tend to get way too ahead of themselves thinking they're being you know advanced shooters when they, if they just match those fundamentals life becomes so much simpler yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and a lot of these guys you know uh yeah they're 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 learning so they can go back to their departments and teach and a lot of it you know like i said it's basic stuff and before you go do all the all the you know action movie stuff you gotta you gotta work out that base baseline stuff mm-hmm uh, yeah. So, um, what else? The um, the getting back in the fight one was neat because the targets we used, um, we put t-shirts over them, so you couldn't see where your rounds were hitting. Uh, and after it was over with, we took the the shirts off, and you can kind of see, you know, where you're hitting at. But it, you know, we're all aiming for center mass on that one. It wasn't. It wasn't anything out the envelope uh so that's something i'm gonna bring back to some of my guys and let them know about to try um and basically like you know let's say you've been shot in the right arm how to get the gun out with the left hand uh, -huh. uh how to load you know so put it between your knees or put it back in the holster even uh and just just find a way to work it one-handed yeah, for sure. Now, when you uh, when you shot the t-shirts, uh, what was the target they had underneath to let you know if you're doing reference areas for just 
center of mass or were they actually like anatomical marks to let you know you're getting heart and lungs? Uh, it, it was it was it was the uh, it was the the ILFE target that we had. Um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to find the link and post that one. Um, but it's I can't remember what target they they went off of, but it, it's it's an older target that they kind of updated a little bit and called it their own, and uh, so it's out and about now. Well, very cool. Well, hey, yep. amigos, I am uh, arriving at my destination, so it's time to start pulling uh, cases of gear and everything out and putting them away, so I'm going to go ahead and bounce. I All right. how it is. <laughs> now I need to figure out how to bounce on this little uh, hangouts on the phone program. If you need, I can just kick you. Dude, that kick me. Life easier. Sit, okay. dude, I know you, you love to be able to do that, so just go ahead. No, Shut me overly. down, dude. We'll have fun. Thanks, buddy. See ya. We'll see you later. Night. Later. <coughs> oh, he had to cough and get us both sick just before it took off. Ah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we have a unique opportunity right now. We have a couple viewers or listeners or whatever the hell these people are. And we also have a... How would we describe your experience and position? Do we, do we want to... Ex, do we want to let them know that, that you're able to answer questions in regards to certain armor type things. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just an armor, and I just show up to places and smile a lot, and uh, hopefully hopefully don't have to pay the bill when it's all said and done. But yeah, if if people have questions, uh, I can usually answer them. So yeah. So what all are you trained in? Uh as as an armor. As an armor, yeah, everything. Ooh, I'd, I'd have to check my LinkedIn page. Like it, it's enough. It's enough. I need a spreadsheet now. Um, AR fifteen, uh, Sig two twenty series, uh, Beretta ninety series, uh, Barrett M eighty two, FN two forty two forty nine, and a slew of others. Um, and that's Do that's all. Some shotguns too. Yeah, I have. Um, what is it? The uh, Benelli Benelli Nova series. I want to say or Benelli M1 series. No, it's this. The M1 through M4 actually. So that really? holds. Yeah, I have an M1 that needs some love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I always wanted an M1 Super ninety. Yeah, I got dude, it. Let's... And yeah, then it's, 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 I'm not that impressed. Oh, should have stuck with rifles. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we had one over in Ramadi that that didn't. I, I don't think we did anything with it. I believe the guy that was before me, because you know I'm I'm going to obviously blame the guy before me. He tried taking the uh, the trigger pack out of it and jamming it in a Turkish shotgun, and then what? Everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. But the Turkish shotgun was neat because uh, it wasn't on the books, and it was sawed off, and it held uh, it held three plus one, and uh, we got the CBs to fire the, or to weld the firing pin forward, so uh, it was it was a four shot full auto shotgun, and it, <laughs> nice. So we uh, we look at we took it out. I believe it was Lake Tartar, and uh, we let some of the guys duck hunt out there fun yeah you know all, all that stuff that uh that they, they they never showed that one on the news it looks like we already have some comments Ooh. as specifically about the sig 220 okay looks Once, like you're gonna have uh, yeah in novice okay novice all right i'll check that Matter of fact, I, for the sake of those that can't read that, I'll just I'll, I'll read the first question. Uh, what do you believe the max level of modification that an end user should be doing to their go-to rifle? Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at that right now. Yeah. For me personally, uh, also AR armor. Um, actually expired though. I need to go. I need to renew. You gotta uh, take that long course, man. It'll change your life. Really? 
because I went through oh. uh, what the hell's the dude's name? He wore jump boots and shorts. Hmm. Not uh, Larson. He, no, not Larson. Shaved head, clean shaven. So he had uh, special mag springs. They were red in color. Huh. As a matter of fact, what? I have a shirt right over next to me somewhere. Advanced armament guy. Was it advanced? advanced? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, to answer Drew's question, though, for me personally, I would say nothing that affects the overall um, reliability of the weapon. So that means yeah. change out stocks, change out handguards, uh, optics, maybe even a trigger, depending on your level of uh, ability. But I definitely wouldn't uh, advise a novice to try to do anything serious that's going to potentially affect or just destroy the weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, all, all the, uh, all the snake oil stuff out there. Uh, yeah. Just stay away from that stuff. Uh, but it, it goes back to how comfortable you are with the weapon and how much you understand the function and operations yeah. of it. Uh, but yeah, for, for the basic guy that, you know, just picked up his DPMS rifle mm -hmm. wants to be an American. Yeah, man, you <laughs> change the stock out, put some sights on there. Uh, Put a decent red dot sight. Another thing, like uh, I see these people, you know, they're like, I want to get an aim point, but aim points are too expensive. And brand new aim points, yeah, they are, but trade in aim points are not. So that's something to always keep an ear to the ground about. I'm looking for the uh, the shirt with the company name. It's clearly not Advanced Armament because that's a silencer company. There it is. And what I'm going to have to do is look on Google to find out what the guy's name is. <laughs> used to be a, he was a cult distributor, specialized armament. Oh, spe okay, that dude. Yeah, yeah. No, he's good too. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's like the other guy. Uh, if I, if I remember right, he used to work for Colt. Yes. Or something like that, and then branched away, and then uh, yeah, like I think. So, so the two the two certs that DOS recognizes is Colt and then his. So yeah, like he he's good. He knows what he's doing. Well, I believe he wound up. I think he stopped. He, at least he's. I don't think he's affiliated with Colt anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, me either. Me either. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've taken what five five AR fifteen courses now, and uh, like obviously the Colt is you know is default the best because you can get a job with department of state because of that but yeah. um but no larson's course was definitely good uh he covered he covered a lot of variables he covered you know all the stuff of like gas ports um gas ports buffer weights uh the different springs that are out there different type of bolt carriers uh the different type of steel that you know every now and then you get like a 9310 bolt instead of a carpenter 158 like what's the pluses and minuses and what you're, what you're getting into. Ken Elmore. Yeah. Ken Elmore. Yep. Yep. No, that was a, I really enjoyed that class. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Dobbs is who taught mine for uh, Colt. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and Wayne's good. Uh, I, I learned that, uh, with the three round bursts, there is a difference between the ratchet on the the carbine and the rifle um they're two different really? little rats yep huh. uh, and and uh we just stay away from three round bursts in the navy so and elmore preached avoid three round burst and it made a lot of sense because there's so much more going on and yeah so if you're firing semi and you switch to burst there's no guarantee it's going to be three rounds depending on where the yeah cog is it might be a, a single a double it might be a triple yeah, and then and that messes with your training because you get a guy that goes, I'm going to do three-round burst, and he shoots and he gets two rounds where he thinks, oh, I have a stoppage. No, you don't. Your ratchet just resetted. Um, so, so yeah, to, to heck with that. Yeah. And, and yes, yeah, still to this day, um, I don't like burst because yeah. it made a lot of sense what he, what he was saying. And, one, and more stuff to break. Yeah, absolutely more stuff to break. Um, full auto has its applications, you know, the few that it may be. And, uh, yeah. but yeah, 
Yeah, three round burst. Now you don't need that. 